Hello everybody, Iron here with a tutorial for you on how to make a skill tree. And this skill tree has actually no code in it whatsoever. Um, because this video is only about the way how to build it. So normally you would probably want a script to construct this tree. Because uh, you probably want to add more uh, skills to it. Or maybe a randomized skill tree or anything like that. But if you already know, okay, I want an X amount of skills and I know how they're gonna uh, follow up on each other. So you need skill A first and then B and then C followed by that. Um, so that's where this is for. So there's absolutely no code needed here. So the only thing that uh, is important here at the moment is this object here. It's called tree, uh, skill tree window. And that is a rect transform um, which is just a container and it has a child which is um, this uh, object here which is just black and it will create a border here because if and we got this uh, scroll rect which is really important because um, the way this tree is gonna build up is that it is gonna expand itself um, depending on how much skills you put in there so at some point the skills will probably go um, outside this border here and you won't be able to see them so this uh, scroll rect makes sure that we can actually drag through the skill tree um, while it will only be uh, visible within this rect transform um, it's important to have a mask on that otherwise you will actually see it outside here too and now you can only see it if the child object below it which is this one is actually inside the inside the borders of this rect transform so this is our root <coughs> it is important to have a horizontal layer group here um, and you can put some spacing in it I like to have some spacing on that because uh, I do not have icons yet or something to show you so it will just be white squares that will be put there so uh, and I like to have some space there because maybe in the future I want to draw lines to connect the skills which uh, look like a little bit better in my opinion and we got the content size fitter is um, so that it will actually expand itself if we get too many skills um, cropped in here and I got this prefab and this prefab is all you need uh, you can expand this infinitively so this one got a vertical layout group. It got an image. Um, do not get confused with that image because this is just a, a holder. Um, and, and you can put, uh, well, for example, a background on the skill group. Um, but that's that's up to you. That's completely up to you. And then we got this object here. This is the skill itself. So it got a button so that we can click on it, for example, or drag over it. Uh, and we can fire an event on it so that for example you click on it or you click on it and you drag it to uh towards skill bar or something like that and it's got an image which is actually the icon of the skill you would use um, and it got a layout element and i've set the preferred height and width to 100 because i think 100 is big enough for an icon you can increase this um whatever you like uh, if you want the 200 big then you put 200 it doesn't really matter uh, of course, depending on uh, your settings on the canvas. So yeah, let's just uh, show how it works. You pick this node and you drag it in the skill tree root. Um, and you will see it just creates it here in the middle. So this one got the skill, which is the icon. And then it got a sub skill tree uh, underneath here. And what is actually, this is actually a copy of this part. So what we can do now is if we drag something in here, you will see it will just create it underneath it. So, for example, we could say, okay, we unlock this one and then we show this one underneath it. But maybe you want two of them. So you drag that also in the sub skills of the first node. You will see it just created underneath here. Um, so, yeah, let's just go through it and just put some more uh, skills in the sub skills of others. So you can see it's just adjusting itself a little bit. Um, and you can actually do this infinitively you can keep going keep going till like forever forever um and if you would for example say okay i, w I have different skill trees for example um 
in I don't know League of Legends or something you have different skill trees uh, you can just say okay we duplicate this and it will just duplicate it here so if I would say let's go to the first node sub skills there and put some more in here duplicate some of that you know you see they actually go outside if we go to play now and this is where the scroll right is for you can see we can just by click and holding we can just go horizontal and if you keep going all the way down you will also be able to scroll vertical and that is actually it that's all you need for this and you can as you can see the buttons just react on this so you could put pictures in here and then if you click on this it will create some kind of container on your mouse position or something you would be able to drag it to uh, to an action bar or something like that and then drop it on there with scripts and all that stuff but that is for another video um, yeah that's actually it for this um, I hope uh, I hope this will help some of you guys to create a um, very basic uh, skill tree and uh, if you like this video if you learned something of it please give a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more videos because I, I actually like this uh, idea for um, RPG content a lot um, I like our, to play RPGs myself so I probably will continue on this one um, I already got some for action bar here I got some scripts already that I'm working on at the moment um, so yeah I'm actually um, wondering what you want to see next if you want to see an action bar like a little bit more explained um, I will uh, continue with that and otherwise you will just see the next video coming up if you have another idea for a video or you have questions about anything um, just put it in the comments and I will see I will I will always read my comments and um, yeah I will see what I can do for you so thumbs up subscribe for more and I see you guys next time